What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny, if you didn't already know. And if you guys like the videos I'm putting out so far, I've been, you know, back to back consistently putting out videos. If you guys want more, let me know. I have to keep looking down like this because I don't really want you guys to see the glare in my glasses, but if I look up a little bit and you guys see glare in my glasses, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. If you clicked on this video, most likely you're interested in acting, the entertainment industry, and learning more about headshots and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go through my first ever headshots all the way to my most current headshots. If you click on this video for that, we could just already get started. Okay, so the pictures that I'm gonna be showing you guys are all on my casting networks. By the way, if you guys don't know what casting networks is, it's an acting site where you could submit or your agent could submit you to projects. It's mostly commercials or UGC or reality TV shows that are on casting networks. Sometimes there will be background roles for major TV networks like or major TV shows. It's mostly commercial though. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of headshots and we're gonna go through majority of them, not all of them, because there's just too much and they technically look the same. All right, so the first picture I have on my casting networks and it's my first ever headshot is this one. Oh my gosh. It looks good. I'm pretty sure it looks good. It's not that bad, which is why I kind of still use it. My hair was all over the place. I don't have a single part, like the part, the middle part that's supposed to be in my head, like right here, is not there. Uh, my eyebrows could have been done a little bit better. Uh, I don't like the fact that I tilted my head back so much. Now I kind of want my headshots to be kind of straight on, like looking straight on. And if I do want to do a slight head tilt, it's going to be like this. But that one, I was like throwing my head back and I I don't know if I like that. The only thing I really don't like about this is also I was really turned. Like usually you wanna be able to see the outfit a little bit, like the layers or whatever you have. I was literally, I took the picture and I was like this. Like it's like picture day at school or something. I'm really supposed to be at least like this, if that makes sense, you know? I'm so bad at explaining, but that's exactly how it's supposed to be. My boyfriend took these headshots and this was in the back of my house. We have like a little walkway area and you could see like the sidewalk behind me and then like the forest or whatever. I remember when I took these though, I remember that I was rushing these headshots because I was about to get signed to an agency and I was getting recommended. My acting coach, who was the one that recommended me to um, the agency, asked for my headshots and that was when I was literally beginning acting and I had no headshots. I was like, okay, I need some headshots. So I rushed to this picture. I also edited it a lot like it, my face was kind of extra smooth and I really didn't want that like I kind of want more of a natural feeling like I want you guys to see my pores the next picture I have is literally this was my second headshot but was on the same day that I took the first one so I was trying to go for a like a schoolgirl look like I was either in high school or I was in college or something like I was trying to go for a nerdy look and there there it is again with the head tilt the head the head tilt was not going for me and I also edited this so much that you don't see any pores. You can literally tell that I smoothed out every crevice of my face. And listen, headshots are not cheap. Headshots are, are ranging from like $200 to $300 to $400, $500, $600. Like it's crazy. And since these were my first headshots, I was not about to pay all that money. Yeah, I mean, I like my smile in this. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really feeling my, my eyebrows. I really could have done them a little bit better it looks it doesn't look bad i definitely do look like a college student i also wish i kind of used a different color shirt like i would this time i would have wore like a colorful shirt like whether it's like a brown shirt with a jean jacket on top tv show nowadays like they always have like a jean jacket on top like you know to make the people the characters look a little bit more younger because majority of the time when you're watching a show and the characters are supposed to be playing high school. Majority of the time they're over 18. They're probably 20 years old trying to pay, play like a 16, 15 year old. Now, my second round of headshots. I did these headshots like three months later, I think, because I was like, I need to get a little bit like newer ones. My first ever headshots were just rushed, you know? So I was like, let me try something else. I edited these myself as well. Like I had to smooth it out. I still wasn't smart enough with the editing. I didn't know anything about headshots that much and I only used what I could get off of YouTube. And I smoothed out my face like crazy. What I was looking for with this headshot was I wanted a commercial headshot. This was supposed to be a like a commercial headshot where people could look at it, like casting directors could look at it and be like, oh my gosh, we could put her in a Universal Studios commercial like look at her smile my smile looked great in this I love my eyes my eyes look like 
I'm actually having fun and I, I like the glow on my face that happened but I'm pretty sure that was sweat yeah I also just didn't like the way I was turning like the, the turn it, the turn was a little bit better the first turn that I had in my first section was like I was literally like this this it kept getting a little bit better I, I like that I just wish I wasn't wearing white I, I, I don't know like something about the white wasn't really sitting with me for a commercial headshot I would have rather wore colors because colors just casting directors eat colors up if that makes sense there's my second one this is my serious one this one's my serious one my eyebrows look kind of good they look done they're a little bit too dark in my opinion they look they don't look natural they look like I literally painted them on they're not bad at least this one you could see the part in my hair this time <laughs> yeah this one's not bad I wish I was kind of a little bit more serious like you could kind of see like a smile on my face I don't look distressed or mad or like like I'm gonna rob this store type of serious you know now here is my first ever studio headshots that I actually paid for my professional headshots I went to a professional photographer um in my city and he was great he was really nice he made me feel comfortable he had his own makeup there where I had not makeup but like I came makeup ready but he had other makeup stuff just in case I started getting like you know sweaty in front of the camera like he was really really nice and it was like really well prepared and stuff like that this is my first one at first I really really like this I I loved it because I love the um the background since it was my first ever professional headshot i really didn't know any better i i love these headshots i got them i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna be booking with this like these this headshot was insane my eyes look different sizes it's actually crazy and then here i am with the white the white why didn't i wear like yellow in this picture like yellow would have looked so much more nicer on this blue like a dark yellow some other color than white like i'm not sure why i used white but it's not bad it looks good i didn't edit these pictures the photographer did and he did a really good job he did really light editing because i told him that for my first like professional pictures these were not bad but when you see my next pictures like my next section of pictures they get good as the time goes i also tried to do like a nerdy shot a headshot like where it's like i look like a geek or just like the first section i did i tried to put the glasses on look like a a college person this one I tried to look like a geek like you know the person who's always hacking into stuff who just loves books and all that stuff this one was very commercial like it was very commercial and I still like this to this day the only thing now I can't use these headshots anymore like I literally can't like I'm showing you guys these now but realize that I have to take these down I can't unless I get my hair back to where the way it was I can't use these headshots anymore because my hair is dead like there's nothing I can do my hair is straight if I wet it it's straight so that's why I keep putting braids back in. I can't use these headshots for casting directors to see and then they expect me to have my natural hair and then I can't give that to them. But I did like these. I, I, I really like this one. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love the background, the freaking white-ish, grayish, whatever it was. I was so excited. And then here is my serious headshot with the first ever professional headshot session. I still don't like when I take pictures without my glasses and I'm not smiling because I have these like under bags as you guys can like see in the picture and they look horrible. I don't, if you guys know how to take them away, let me know i've tried everything the cold spoon all of this stuff like i think the only way to take them away is literally just to get like some type of surgery and like they just take the cushions out compared this to the first serious headshot that i have this one was a little bit more serious i liked that my lips look like they didn't look glossy which is, i like that i just looked more serious i looked like i didn't come to play now that i'm re-looking at the, this headshot i don't like it because it's just too bright for a serious headshot you would want like dark and mysterious and moody why do i have a white shirt on a light a very very light blue jacket on and then the background is white if you're a casting director and you saw this um headshot you're not gonna be like you're not gonna look at it and be like yeah she matches like house of the dragon vibe so now we actually have a mysterious one ready look at this one this one was my favorite ever i still kind of use it which i need to stop like i said because i don't have that hair anymore okay so i like this because you could see my pores it looks a little bit more natural i wish i brushed out my eyebrows a little bit more it, it could have been more shaped and stuff like that but you know back then this was like a year ago or two years ago I don't really know any better. I'm pretty sure this was two years ago. I don't really know any better about like fixing yourself up, but now I do. So next time I take my headshots, I hope hopefully it's gonna be better. This one I'm very proud of because I had a black shirt on and then I had a darker colored flannel and then the background was dark. This is with the same first professional headshot session. Like this is the same one. You could see like, okay, this girl could be like 
someone who's struggling or she could be the girl that saves the day that everyone underestimates or something like that. When you do headshots, they have to speak to you. Like when you look at your headshot and you look at your eyes and you do all that stuff, they have to speak to you. They have to say something. What do, what do you look like? What do you see this headshot, this person playing in? What setting? Your headshot has to tell a story. It has to look like you, but it also has to t tell a story. And that's what I liked about this headshot. Now, finally, we are going to see my most recent headshots, the headshots that I'm using currently right now. This one, I flew to Los Angeles to get these headshots done. I took this headshot session with Deidre and she photographed a lot of people. Like she pho um, photographed Storm Reed. She photographed, I forgot this other girl. She even photographed, um, um, Sydney Sweeney. Sweet, Sydney Sweeney? Sydney Sweeney. That's what I think, oh my gosh, I don't know her name. She photographed Cassie from Euphoria when she was younger. She was like 16 or something like that. And so I went to go get my headshots done with her and I still to this day love them. This one, I really like this one because I like the way my melanin kind of pops out. I really like the brown on my skin. I still could have brushed out my eyebrows a little bit more. I just don't understand what is it, what's with me and these eyebrows. I don't understand. I was also smiling a little bit too hard. It looks like it hurts to smile. Why did it look like I was smiling too hard and I looked like I was in pain? I, I don't understand. Also, I rushed my hair. Like I was in the night before, I was trying to braid my hair. And then when I also, when we went to the person we were staying at house, that same night, I was also braiding my hair. So that's why in the corner on the left, I think it's, if you guys see it, it's the left. You can see like that braid that's kind of like curling up. Like it's, like I was rushing these braids. It was so freaking bad, oh my gosh. The next one that I shot with Deidre was this one. I loved these, I love this headshot. Like I, I still kind of feel like I was a little bit too bright. The thing is with uh, Deidre, she doesn't edit her headshots, which is fine, but I edited this, I tried my best to like lower my face color down because that's not what I look like. If you look at the headshot and then this is, look at me, I don't look like that. I look, I look way lighter in the headshot than I do right now. Like right now I, I have a darker tone, but in the headshot I look way lighter. So I kept trying to darken it, but every time I darkened it, it just didn't look right. It looked very uniform and perfect. Like it looked really good. The only thing I don't like though is the freaking, my braids, they were so bad. Like my, the sizes of my braids, I was, when I tell you I was rushing, I was rushing. I was ripping, I was ripping through the hair packs, just taking whatever I had and braiding. I was, it was so bad. I was so stressed. Okay, and the last one that I took with Deidre is this one. I like the fact that I had like a little smile going on. My eyebrows actually kind of looked a bit better in this one. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know if I brushed it in between or something like that, but it didn't look bad. I don't know, just something about it looked really, really nice. I loved it. Like this one, this one looks like a real headshot to me. Like this one looks like, this one looks like I can manipulate you. Or this one looks like I could be the killer, but you wouldn't even know. Or I'm going to save the world. Well, that was it. That was all my headshots that I've had from beginning to my first ever one that I took by myself to my most professional ones that I took in LA when I went last year. You could definitely see the upgrades. Every picture that I took, it got better. And the next ones I'm about to take is about to be even better. I'm so excited for them. And now I haven't booked anything um, yet in the acting industry, the entertainment industry, whether it's commercial or um, or like an actual show, which is fine. You know, this is a process. And I don't think it's because of my headshots. I just generally believe that it's because I don't have too much materials to show for. I don't have a reel yet, which I'm putting together right now, actually. It's, it's definitely a process. And the new headshots that I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna make sure that they're so good that you have to look at it and click it and be like, yes, I want to see an audition from her. I've been in this industry for about two years. I've been learning networking and figuring out other stuff I need or need to do to get myself up there. And the more knowledge I have, the more I understand it. And so when I get these new headshots, these are going to have to be the one. If you want to take some yourself, you can. Just make sure it looks like a, you know, a kind of professional, but it doesn't have to be crazy professional. We just, the headshot literally just needs to resemble you. Usually people love when there's blurred background so if you want blur the back the background do not smooth out your face like I did when I did my first few headshots we still want to see the actual you if you have pores and they're huge show it like 
show it you're fine you're human and when you're watching these movies and these shows what we're really watching are humans we're not watching barbie dolls perfect people like keeping up with the kardashians you know or like a model runway thing so when casting directors are looking at your pictures they're looking for a real human not someone who looks fake but yeah i'm pretty sure there's so many other videos i can give you more tips about headshots i still am learning so i don't know too much my camera's about to die so that was kind of perfect thank you guys for watching if you like acting videos like these make sure you subscribe below and let me know what other videos about acting or whatever and then i can make them and then we can become friends and we can talk about it and because you guys are literally my only friends i talk to you guys like i talk to you like you're right here so if you like this video leave a thumbs up as well share this video to other actor friends so they know what to expect in the headshot session and all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Love you.